Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. What about my brand new background in this scenario? Try to give you more possibilities and add a little bit change to my coming next YouTube Studio series. And in this video, we're going to talk about the invisible selfie stick because we have this invisible selfie stick design for a quite a long time. I think the first time we Insta360 deliver the concept of invisible selfie stick. That was a moment back in the year around 2016 or even 2017 uh, when they first launched the Insta360 One. By that moment, the invisible selfie stick has become a default setup for all the 360 camera users. I've been wondering for quite a long time what is the next generation invisible selfie stick and what is the future about accessory design for 360 camera industry. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the brand new second generation invisible selfie stick designed by Insta360 that is a combination of the power bank handle, remote controller, and it's invisible at almost the same length. So want to know more about it, keep watching. My name is Jingguo, my YouTube channel is dedicated 360 photography, video, accessories, and some cutting technology. Now let's get started and let's start with the unboxing of this power selfie stick. This is actually the package of this brand new, the second generation invisible selfie stick designed by Insta360, completely redesigned from inside out. This is what you get in the package, the invisible selfie stick, together with a very small, tiny USB C to C cable. That not just to charge your 360 camera, but could be doubled as a remote shutter cable as well. The weight of the conventional invisible selfie stick is 170 gram, while the brand new design has a maximum weight of 274 grams, which means that this brand new power selfie stick is 100 grams heavier than the conventional 1.5 meters invisible selfie stick. And the maximum length, they have almost the same maximum length. With invisible selfie stick, you have one, two, three, four, five. Five sections, fully expanded, you got 1.2 meters and with twist aluminum tube design. So, yes. And with this one, you got a brand new design, one, two, three, four, five, six consists of six sections with a maximum length of around 1.1 meters. So it's a little bit shorter compared with the invisible selfie stick. But what, what fans me most about this power selfie stick is actually where did they put the lithium battery and how is it possible to fit a lithium battery inside the selfie stick at the same time make everything totally invisible in your final shot. So after tearing down this invisible selfie stick, I figured out that there is a 21700 lithium battery in this part. And there's a circuit board in charge of the power management and also be doubled as these three buttons. The shutter button, the mode button, also be doubled as power on and power off. And this is a remaining battery indication LED button. You tap, you're gonna see this remaining battery. So if you tap this button, the three LED turns on, that means you have more than 70% battery remain in your selfie stick. But if you got two LED or only one, and even the LED light is blinking, that means you have to charge your selfie stick. Well, this is actually the Type-C port on the side where you can charge this power selfie handle and to support five amps 5 volts, 2 amps, the standard quick charging, which quickly get charged inside this selfie stick. It's a metal design with a quarter inch mount thread hole and the rated power that is 16.2 watts hour. If you divide the rated power by 3.7 volts, you get the capacity of the internal lithium battery. That is 4,500 milliamp lithium battery uh, is exactly the, the rated capacity of this 21700 lithium battery has the same number with the tesla electrical cars if you fully expand it you might wondering how does the power selfie stick 
be able to control your Insta360 cameras. Actually, it's a cable connect, it's not Bluetooth. So it is very reliable when you're outdoor shooting. You don't have to worry about the interference. So the reason why you can control your camera, that is uh, with the design of the USB-C port on the side. So on the top, you can see it is very thin and it's totally invisible. It looks just like a Hummingbird quick mount system. And it has Type-C port on the left and the right at the same time. So no matter which orientation you're able to mount your camera on the selfie stick, you always get the best orientation that make everything totally visible, including the selfie stick, the charging cable, and the, some third-party accessories like the wireless microphone receiver. Okay, here I'll take my Insta360 ONE X2 S example to show you, to give you a demonstration on how to charge and control this camera on the go. One thing I have to mention that this power selfie stick is compatible with the ONE RS, one R and one X2 at the same time. But you should notice we have to wait for the latest firmware upgrade, which on the one R, you're gonna release a major firmware upgrade to add the support for the 4K boost lens and the power selfie stick at the same time. And on one RS, there's gonna be a brand new huge update in firmware to greatly improve the audio quality and add the support for this power selfie stick. Once you have mounted everything ready and plugged in the Type-C cable, side and for the other side connect into the bottom of the base as you can see now the one x2 is charging on the go when you single tap on this button single tap on the button look what happened your one x2 just turns on automatically but i think in the future the insta360 engineer should definitely upgrade firmware because i think if you long press this power on button to power on the camera this is the more reliable solution. If a short press, sometimes people will accidentally trigger their camera. And once you have uh, opened this camera, you can single tap this mode button, the mode button, change different mode. You have standard, now you can see standard video mode, time lapse, standard photo mode, or cycling through all three basic shooting modes. I th and I do hope in the future we can change the shortcut change shortcut of this menu so you can set your uh, favorite shooting mode and cycling through this mode button. And once you have set, for example, have a set standard, you tap this shutter button, you get to trigger the camera. Yeah, and capture the shot. This is how easy and simple it is to control everything in your hand with a power bank, with cable connect, and at the same time, everything is totally invisible. But once you have to notice that it is not waterproof anymore, both the camera and the power selfie stick, because this connector is exposed to the air and you have to remove the, the, the battery door. So both the camera and the selfie stick are not waterproof anymore. And this selfie stick, considering it has a lithium battery inside, so do not drop. Do not drop this selfie stick on the ground because uh, it's quite dangerous for the lithium battery inside. But with a conventional selfie stick, because it's made of aluminum from top to bottom, you can drop anywhere you want. But inside this one, there's lithium battery. So do watch out. Must be, you must be careful when you enjoy your shooting with the power selfie stick. But overall, this combo setup, the experience is truly exceptional. It's overwhelming and just this gives me new possibilities to capture my everyday video. And for those of you who might wonder which mini tripod you have, you can refer to the link down in my description. I will share with you my recommended mini tripod design for this power selfie stick. And coming next, I will share with you my uh, real world sample shot with this combo setup. Actually, everything is gone. You can't see anything about this selfie stick, but it's greatly improved our experience when out for travel or trip in the weekend. I think now this camera is more reliable and you don't never have to worry about this uh, battery life. And you can always cable connect and you can always trigger the camera with this Type-C cable. And this experience just is awesome. And I'm gonna take some test shot with my setup, the power selfie stick and one X2. So you long press, you can power on this camera. 
Can you hear that? Now well, it has been powered on and coming next, I can take some test shots with one next to invisible selfie stick. I just can't wait to share with you what I can get from this combo. Okay, now I'm gonna press recording and start recording at this moment. This, this is the video capture with the Insta360 ONE X2. This power selfie stick, everything is totally gone in the final shot because it is also a visible selfie stick, but at the same time with, uh, you can charge on the go, you can cable control your ONE X2, and it's just gorgeous. Okay, now I gonna take my ONE X2 while recording and later we capture a time-lapse video with this combo setup. Because I don't never have to worry about the battery life. And I do have more to share with you that this power selfie stick is not just compatible with the Insta360 uh, 360 cameras. It's also compatible with the, the latest Ricoh Theta X and the Kandao Coolcam AK because both of these 360 cameras have the charging port on the side where you can charge all these cameras with this power selfie stick. But you will never get the remote control experience with non-Insta360 cameras. So that is a basic recap on this brand new power selfie stick. I think it's definitely the next generation invisible selfie stick and it's totally blew my mind away. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you do have any great ideas on my future video, please leave down in the comments and let me know. Last but not least, stay safe and talk to you soon. Bye.